What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So literally in my last video, I was talking about how Global's been kind of dead for the last week or so because for all intents and purposes, the 3 year anniversary has come and gone and there's really not much to do these days. And then less than 48 hours later, they decided to drop two massive bombs on us. Let's just quickly jump into the news and talk about it because if I don't, there's just so much built up hype inside me that I might explode. So we're gonna skip this Broly thing and talk about Turles first. So here we go, new Dokkan event coming soon. This is AGL Turles, the leader of the movie bosses category. He is confirmed to be the next Dokkan Fest. And I don't think that a lot of people should be too surprised by this because a lot of you I know, myself included, were expecting Turles to be the next Dokkan Fest unit on Global but I just didn't expect it to be this soon. But nonetheless, I'm not complaining. Trust me, I am not complaining at all. This guy is fantastic. His team, Movie Bosses, is a really strong team. But AGL Turles by himself is just a fantastic, fantastic unit. If you guys don't know about him, basically he is the best support unit in the entire game. His passive gives all allies key plus three, attack plus 40%, and this is all allies. It's not just extreme allies, it's both super and extreme. So he's a fantastic support unit, and then when he transforms, he actually becomes a pretty solid damage dealer too. So really solid unit. The only issue with him is that his banner on JP wasn't the most exciting. From what I remember, there were things like uh, Tech Golden Frieza, uh, Tech Beerus, um, Omega Shenron might have been on there, Strength Janemba, uh, what else, what else, Final Form Cooler. So here's the thing, I would not call it a bad banner by any means. I think that for a lot of newer players and just like, I mean, in, in general has some of the best extreme units in the game, you know, Final Form Cooler, uh, Strength Janemba, a lot of those guys are really great units, but for long-term players, veteran players like me who have been playing for a while, um, these guys have been featured on so many banners over the past couple months, half a year to a year, that many of us have at least two to three dupes in them. I know for me personally, I have Golden Frieza, Rainbow, I have Tech Beerus Rainbowed, I have uh, Final Form Cooler with at least two to three dupes, so I don't really need more of him. And Omega Shenron is Rainbowed as well if he is on the banner, I don't remember. He might be on the banner, if not, then it's gonna be an, an even worse banner, but basically, for people like me, it's not the most exciting and I know that I'm going to be pulling a bunch of those guys and just be upset because I can't pull the, the turlets that I want but I keep pulling these useless dupes. But anyways, overall I think for a newer player, it's going to be a great banner. You will get a lot of the best extreme units in the game. But um, aside from that, you know, it's going to be, it might be a bit of a shaft for, <laughs> for longer time term players. But here's the thing guys, this guy is so good that even for me, even knowing that it's going to bring me despair, I'm going to be pulling on the banner dropping at least like 500 stones or so. I'm gonna try my best to not go too hard because I want this guy really bad, but I don't want him to steal all my money and all my stones. But I do really want him, so I think that he is worth the stones. At least, you know, two to three multis, test your luck. Um, so yeah, Turles, fantastic, fantastic unit, best support in the game, and I can't wait to get him and run him. You know, fingers crossed, let's hope that happens. Now, we're gonna go back, um, whoops, let's go back to news and talk about this Broly announcement. So this caught me completely off guard and I think a lot of people are going to be surprised by this because we didn't know anything about this. This is a brand new thing. It wasn't on JP. It was, by the way, announced on JP at the same time. So it seems to be a pretty big deal. But of course, this is for the upcoming Broly movie. It is the Dragon Ball Super movie announcement celebration. So some people are like, yo, the movie's not coming out for a while. It's going to be like at least four to five months before the movie actually comes out. But this is the movie announcement event. So I guess it's just to hype people up. I have no doubt that when the movie does come out, they will drop a you know really strong version of the Broly from the movie but for this Broly specifically it looks like it's gonna be extreme Z battle event and I believe in my opinion that it's gonna be a free-to-play unit very similar to the extreme Z awakened Gohan that we just got on global and you know JP got that a while ago but yeah if um, you know if it's any indication that's an indication this guy should be very very solid a very strong free-to-play unit and I think that they will scale the difficulty of the event so that most people can still beat it even with a free-to-play team because you know Gohan was kind of like that this guy should be like that and yo if yo things like uh, LR Vegito Blue or LR Cooler LR Trunks the new one that is um, or you know the Ginyu Force team LR Ginyu if those are any indication that this guy this guy should be a very strong free-to-play unit as well and all players should be excited even pay-to-play players even whales because yo 
everybody can use a really strong free-to-play unit. So this is what I expect to happen. We're gonna get this Broly probably in his base form, and he's gonna be a completely free-to-farm um, Extreme Z Awakenable unit, and you, you know we're gonna be able to do like level 1 to 30 or maybe even above that, get some free orbs with some free Kai's and get a free, very, very strong rainbow free-to-play unit. Um, so that's my prediction. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe there's going to be a banner for him. You have to pull for him and then Extreme Z Awaken him, but I think it's going to be a free-to-play unit because you want... I mean, Bandai in general and then Toei and all those people that are behind the movie want us to be excited and be happy to, to get this Broly instead of having to summon for him, which would piss off a lot of people, especially because they, they framed it in a, in a way that would make us think that he is going to be free-to-play. It's going to be a free-to-play Extreme Z battle, but hey, I don't know. There's, nobody really knows what's going to be happening until it actually drops. It's just my speculation. Let me know what you guys think. Is he going to be free? Is he going to be new? I don't know. Um, well, he's going to be new, obviously. I'm, what I'm trying to say is, is he going to be free or is he going to be paid like summonable? Okay. Um, I mean, I'm going down here and there's really, really no details on, you know, what the event's going to be like or what you have to summon for him. They literally just say there's going to be special missions, there's going to be new login bonuses. And that's pretty much it. If you go to the site, I did visit it and basically it just takes you to like a hype website for the movie. It doesn't really tell you much about the actual event in the game. So that's that. Um, this, I don't know when that's going to be launching, but for this event, I checked DBZ Space, the turtle list that is. I checked DBZ Space and they don't really have a launch date for him at the time. So I can only guess that he will be out within the next two to three days, which is what usually happens after a game announcement. No Confess usually drops. Yeah, like two to three days later, possibly Monday. If, if it was up to me, I think my prediction would be that Turlis will be here on Monday after the reset. But I don't know. Like I said, don't take my word for it. This is just a, just like estimate, you know, a educated guess. And I could be off. So, yo, know, if it doesn't happen, then don't don't blame me. Don't blame me. But anyways, uh, guys, I am very, very excited for this. I hope you guys are hyped as well because we finally have something to do on Global. And uh, yeah, just psh, hype hype but anyways that's gonna do it for the video if you like the video make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see and you're excited about the turtles you're excited about the new broly then maybe just maybe hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now as always hope you guys have a fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out